Hey guys, it's Audra and welcome back to my channel. Today we are here to talk about what I am reading in January. Now we are already a little bit over a week into the month and so I've already done some reading and I'm not going to tell you about my thoughts but just kind of to catch you up of where I am. Um, the first selection of the month is going to be the Mom Mom's Advice Book Club and that January pick is The Nine Lives of Rose Napoleonato. And this is a story that hits super close to home because it is all about this woman deciding whether or not she really just wants to be a mother. Now in the past, her and her husband have decided they don't want children at all. And he has changed his mind. She has not. And so it is essentially nine lives of like nine different store like paths that her life could go if she decides to have a kid if she doesn't decide um like if she gets pregnant and this happens or um she doesn't have a kid she finds somebody else they break up you know it's just like all these different timelines of her life surrounding if she becomes mother if she doesn't so um i have read that i'll share my thoughts on that in the monthly wrap up but i'm also this year trying to read like one self improvement or like just a, an area of life that I really would like um, to educate myself better on before making <laughs> decisions, I guess. And to fit right in with that goes perfectly with um, the panic years. It is dates, doubts, and the mother of all decisions. Um, it's pretty short nonfiction, but this is basically just about like in the stage of life um, called the flux is what she calls it. Um, and having to decide if you want to be a mom or not, especially um, when you have gone through a breakup at the end of your 20s or early 30s and just kind of deciding what that will look like for you if you do it by yourself, if you try to do it and you know, finding a partner and all that kind of stuff. And so it is the panic years. It says, um, yeah. There's just a lot of good little tidbits already so far. I'm not gonna read it because it just, it's far too close to home. But um, 24 pages in, and I already can probably guess this might be like my one of my favorite books of the year. But, so those two I've already been working on. I also today or yesterday, I started reading In My Dreams, I Hold a Knife by Ashley Winstead. I've just seen this all over booktube as like favorite book of the year as a thriller and I just had to um, read it. So I had a gift card from a student for Christmas and I chose this, actually multiple students put them together. And yeah, so this is six friends, one college reunion and one solve, unsolved murder. So this group of friends, one of them dies during college. Another one gets blamed for it. There's a 10 year reunion. And I think they're trying to like figure out who actually did it because the other person was deemed not guilty. So. Yeah, I'm excited to see where this goes. I'm, like I said, not too far into it um, at all. Still in like the first two chapters is just present time. So we'll see. Um, I also, in the last video, shared about finishing up these two books from last month. If you want to know what they are about, you can head back to that video. And then some other books I want to read. Um, this year, I'm going to have to read a lot of middle grade and like early young adult. I don't know how you would phrase that. Um, but I have been selected to help out on the William Allen White Award Committee, which is the Kansas State book list for third through fifth grade and then sixth through eighth grade. And you are like required to read at least 70 books in the year to help make the award list for, um, uh, so this list I'm working on now will be 2023, 2024. All of those books must be um, published two years prior so 2021 releases, so last year releases. So I had already started last month reading Pax Journey Home and I'm about halfway through, so I need to finish this one. Um, Pax is like one of my favorite books that I read a few years ago. And it's about a little boy and a fox that have to split ways. I think it was World War One or World War II, one of, one of the World Wars. Um, but uh, he had a pet fox and then his father goes off to war, and so his grandfather makes him drop the fox off in the wilderness. Then it's alternating chapters between the point of view of the fox and the boy, 
and how they come to find each other if they do, if they don't. And then this is the second book. So I can't tell you a whole lot about it because you got to read the first. And then I also yesterday started listening to Room to Dream by Kelly Yang. Front Desk is one of my favorite books ever. It's about a little girl named Mia Tang and her and her family come to the United States from China and they manage a hotel, they hide illegal immigrants, and there's just a lot of really great stuff going on with characters. It, I just love that story. Um, Three Keys is the second book. This is the third book where they go back and um, visit China for the very first time um, since moving to the United States. And then my other three middle grade I wanna prioritize before we get into the TBR jar um, is going to be Out of My Mind. So actually this is gonna be two. This book was written like 10 years ago and I absolutely love it. And they just, Sharon M. Draper, which she's an amazing human being. She just came out with a sequel last month, I think, um, called Out of My Heart. So Out of My Mind is about Melody, who is like the smartest kid in her school. However, she cannot speak, talk, write. So everybody thinks that she's stupid. And so she figures out a way to communicate and it's just her story. And so Out of My Heart is a sequel to that. I want to reread this um, because I just love it so much. I think my personal copy somewhere is signed because I met her and uh, I just love Sharon so much. Um, the next one I want to get to is Ways to Grow Love by Renee Watson, another favorite author of mine. Um, this is another Ryan Hart book. So this is a sequel to Ways to Make Sunshine. And this is a lower middle grade, I would say, of um her mom having a baby i believe or stepmother having a baby i don't quite remember but i cannot wait to read that and the last middle grade is for this month that i'm prioritizing i'll try to get to others because i'm trying to get through as many as possible also using audiobooks um but physical copy is going to be res dogs by joseph barack this is on the um, wabanaki reservation and it is the story of this girl as she is living through COVID-19 pandemic um, highlights. And then, yeah, it says one of the dogs living on the res shows up at their door and then they know that he'll protect them too. So I think it is a good one to consider hopefully, but moving on, I know I'm going super quick, but trying to make this video as short as possible. I, in the last several days have taken out all the um, note cards from this jar and replaced them to what is currently on my shelf behind me. And there's a lot of books in here. So my game plan for now is hopefully picking three books a month and I need to read two out of three of the books. If I read two out of three, I don't have to dis to unhaul any of them. If I read one out of three, I have to unhaul one. We'll see if I read zero out of three, I don't know if it's worth scrapping or like unhauling two or just scrapping the whole idea. We'll find out, but yeah, let's just get into it. I don't know if I'm going to get up and like actually pull these books off the shelves because I'm not editing this video. If you haven't noticed, because it's not, I'm just going to put it up and go. So this is, oh gosh, the clock maker's daughter, um, which is actually right behind me up here. It is a huge book. I don't have a cover on it right now. It is actually signed by the author who I met. I absolutely love Kate Morton books because they are historical fiction, multiple timelines. There's just something about it that like makes me slow down and savor it and like try to connect everything. However, <laughs> if I'm reading so many middle grades, this is gonna be a tough one to get through in a month, but I'm gonna do my best. Oh, look, it has a flyer from the event that I went to um, and a bookmark. Okay. And my receipt. So um, I don't know a whole lot about this one. What does it say? It doesn't give me a idea of what it's about. Let me see real quick in the blurb. It says, I mean, historical fiction. That's pretty much all it gives. So I'm assuming it's just about a clockmaker's daughter. I guess you can <laughs> tune in to the wrap up at the end of the month to figure out what that one's about. So I'm definitely into reading that one. It's just if I'm, I can figure out how to fit it in or not. I'm gonna definitely check in the audio, even though if I remember right, 
the audio book for those aren't as well. Another purple, weird. Uh, the Warden's Daughter, that's middle grade. I'm gonna pass on that. I think I'm actually gonna on the haul. So we'll see what else I pull out. In the Shadow of Liberty, interesting. Another book without a cover. This is a YA nonfiction. It's a actually a finalist for like a best book of the year. This is about the first five presidents and the enslaved people that they had. So it'll be an interesting read, but I'll give that a try, maybe. So again, we're going best two out of three of the month. I'm gonna try to get to all of them, but I just can't promise. Let's see, got one. Ooh, okay. The female of the species. My nails are just wrecked. I'm gonna change them after this video. Female of the species. This one, it says it starts with Alex Kraft knows how to kill someone. This is a YA and I've kept it because of the color, <laughs> sadly. I think it says, so she doesn't feel bad about it. Three years ago, when her older sister Anna was murdered, the killer walked free. She has a language of violence. This is wild. I want to say there was like a trigger warning, I believe, for animal abuse. Is that right? I don't know. You can tell me down below. So, The Clockmaker's Daughter and The Shadow of Liberty and The Female of the Species. Those are my TBR picks for the month. TBR jar picks for the month. We'll see what I get to along with all these others. So I am definitely feeling confident about getting back into reading and getting out of this slump, but yeah, I just need to get, keep going and keep reading. Please tell me what you are reading this month down below. And if you've read any of these, what your thoughts are, especially this female, the species, this was a hit a few years ago. And I'm just curious if it still kind of holds up to the hype that it had. So until next time, bye guys.